train wreck is an old, old school Humboldt strain. It's been around forever. Uh, we've bred with it quite a bit at Hillbilly Dreams. We stabilized it because it wants to hermaphrodite so much. Some old school buddies of mine at Humboldt's been breeding with it for a long time. We stabilized it, bred it back to an indica to get it back to eight weeks and put it out as train wreck at Hillbilly Dreams. And that's probably what 70% of the people smoking it are seeing it as. The other one out of Arcade is clone only because of its instability and it can't be bred with because it only breeds hermaphrodites. Trainwreck's clone only version to yield is like quarter ounce to uh, two ounces per plant. The one off our seed version is, I've seen it yield eight ounces per plant. Trainwreck is usually only good for growing indoor only and then it has to be trellised like a grapevine for that. It's a very pro only difficult to grow strain. It's not a great big yielder. Train wreck can be anywhere from 75 to 90 days. It depends on how much light you give it, how much you've pruned it back, and how much you know how to grow. Train wreck pro to me, the only one is to have somebody in your family that's got MS or something like that, because that's what it's bred for. The cons are too long to list. Train wreck is one of the most difficult pro only plants that there is. I can't think of many other like Neville's Haze or things like that that would be more difficult. It's definitely not recommended for people that's not grown at least 10 cycles. It takes very special food, very special care, very special watering, and you have to know how to identify hermaphrodite because about 80% of the plants are going to hire me.